Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight I have my empties. I have my downstairs empties, my upstairs empties, two baskets worth. It might be a little bit long. I probably should have done this before now, but I will be as speedy as I can. So let's go. I uh, have some bags first and this is all melted downstairs. And FYI, I have four full-size melters downstairs, downstairs. So first we have a sample from Rainbow Melts. This is Blueberry Bake, and this was really good. I like Crystal's Blueberry. Sweet blue, sweet Blueberries Brown, oh, Sweet Blueberries Brown Sugar and Buttery Pie Crust, and that was very good. From Rose Girls, we have Star Beans Cafe Bread, which was Espresso, Vanilla Crunch Donuts, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Fresh Baked Bread. Really, really enjoyed that one. And also from Super Tarts Banner, uh, which is warm buttery cornbread topped with creamy mac apple ice cream and brown sugar. And I had to look in sec and to see what the difference was in these, but this one has coffee in it. So I did like that one a little bit better. Uh, Rainbow's Ghost Party. And this is old, as you can see, 2018. It's the uh, poor November. Oh yeah, like a year and a half old. Blueberry birthday cake and marshmallow. And I melted this last night and holy smokes, it still had throwing powder, power. It was really, really good. Uh, fizzy Pops from Rose Girls. This is so old. I don't know how old it is, but it's really old. I finished that. And I think I mixed that with, I guess we'll come across it. I can't remember what I mixed it with now, but anyway, I mixed it. Uh, this is uh, L3 Waxy Wonders Pretzi Kalachi Caramel. This was also really good, really, it was sweet from the caramel, but you also got the bakery note of the Kalachis. I really like that one. Another one that was super duper old, I mean really old, is Sassy Girl Aroma Hello Lover, which is sweet cane sugar, lemon rind, and, sh and shortbread. And this still threw like a beast. And this is probably close to three years old. Oh my God, that's good. Sassy Girl Aroma Hello Lover. Really, really good. Lemon shortbread. Yes, yes, yes. And I finished a snap away bar, or what do you call them? Breakaway bars from Rainbow Melts in fresh picked linen, which is fresh picked strawberries and game. And this is a favorite of Teresa T for two. This is a nice blend. I do get the gain first and then the strawberry be strawberry behind it. I don't know what's wrong with my mouth today. I'm so tired. I'll tell you what's wrong. Okay, you remember me telling the story about the school bus situation, turning around in front of my house in the cul-de-sac starting at 6, 6, 10 a.m. Between 6, 10 a.m. and 8 a.m., I have five buses turning around in front of my house. I am about to lose my mind. The nights that are not a weekend night and the nights that are, I'm not sleep working the next day, so it's like a sleep-in day because I get up at five o'clock on work days, I turn my, um, you know, her, Alexa, uh, I turn her on no pink noise, so she plays pink noise really loud and I put earplugs in and I can still hear those GD buses in front of my house. This morning and yesterday morning, there was a bus at 3 a.m. turning around in front of my house. I thought I was going to lose my ever-loving mind. So I wrote an email to the school board who's responsible for the six to eight buses. And they said, oh, no, it's not their bus. Our buses don't start running until 5 a.m. So I don't know. If I have to put a camp chair out there and sit on my sidewalk and wait for that bus to come, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to... It's Harry Carey here and, and whatever. That's why I'm tired and my mouth is all mushy. Um, okay, back to the empties. Uh, that Smell Good Shop, this is from October 2019. So this is like a year and a half old as well. And this is Caramel Tobacco. And I liked this originally when I got it. However, now it has turned funky, bitter, nast nasty. Yeah, it's bad. So I had to take it out after a very short amount of time, like 15, 20 minutes. I took that out. No good. No good. Okay. And then for last week's Mix It Monday, I mixed Herbal Melts from Swan Creek Leather and Honey Soaked Apple. And man, that was really, really good. So in each warmer, I put half of one of these cubes because these are quite large. So half of one of these, half of the leather. I did 50-50. Oh my God. I'm so sorry slow your roll. 
I did 50-50 leather and apple, and it was really good. Okay, let's see what else do we have in my little basket of goodies here. Okay, from this I got when I was home in Canada in October. It was a Glade from the Winter Collection, uh, Send a Little Love, which is vanilla biscotti. And actually this had like zero cent, like zero. Yep, zero. So I won't be purchasing that again. Uh, this is another one I mixed. When, well, maybe I mixed that one the week before. I'm not sure. But anyway, for one of the Mix It Mondays, uh, tag me on Mix It Monday, hashtag Mix It Monday or Moni's Mix It. Uh, this one was Midnight Daydream Sugar Cookies and Hayden Rowe Birch Beer. Now, it was a really good blend. However, who man, this is super duper strong. The the birch beer is. I mixed 50-50. If I were to do this again, I would do like 25, 75 um, of the sugar cookie uh, because yeah, the sugar cookies were also really, really good, but, but they got drowned out by the birch beer. But next time I would say 25, 75, but it was enjoyable. Okay, let's do some Scentsy. Woo! Flying all around. Oh, I uh, finished one Super Tarts in Beast, which I love Beast. It is uh, blueberry and cornbread. Really, really good. Love it. And then uh, I have going in the warmer right now, Bonfire Beach was a favorite of mine. It was in my Scentsy Club for quite a few months. So I do have a couple in my stash. So I took it out to put other things in and it's available now anyway. So check my website out for that. Oh, this is so good. The throw on this is like, I would have to say as close to 10 as you can be 10 without saying 10. Like just kind of warm, smoky, marshmallowy. I love that one. Gosh, it's good. Uh, this is a surprise hit for me, pistachio ice cream. And this was a bring back my bar from the fall edition. And uh, Joshua Flores was telling me how wonderful this is. And I was like, ah, oh, I'm not really into pistachio. I don't like that cherry almond pistachio kind of thing going on. But I did like this. And the throw on this one was pretty darn decent too, like seven to eight. It was really good. So although I don't like pistachio scents, I did like this one. And maybe I, maybe I, maybe I need to try some more pistachio because I did enjoy this one. So I would repurchase that one. Here comes the sunflowers is tomorrow's, uh, yeah is tomorrow's Scentsy Saturday. So I'm not gonna talk about that. You'll find out about that tomorrow. Iridescent Pearl was last week's Scentsy Saturday. And this one was very light and I don't, and I, and I did not like it. I, I liked it, but I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It was somewhere in the middle, if I recall. And chances are I may not recall because my memory like daily is like fading away. Uh, this one also was really, really good. Uh, orange Dreamsicle. If you like basically creamy orange, vanilla orange, you're going to love it, as did I. And this one had a pretty decent throw, seven, seven and a half. Didn't blow me out of the house like Bonfire Beach, but it was good. And Cozy Cookie, I also melted. And I do like this one. This was in, they had like a Cozy Cabin collection in the winter. Definitely Cookie like a sugar cookie with, and a little bit of spice notes added to it. So that is that where we are eight minutes. Okay, not too bad. So upstairs, let's see. I did not, I should have, but I did not. So um, let's do some Scentsy. Well, here's some Scentsy too. Uh, this is Be Fabulous, which is, I got a sample in the Whiff Box. This month's Whiff Box, you guys, was fabulous. Um, I do have a video up on it and it is, if I can remember correctly, uh, like lemon, grapefruit and musk. And this, I just have, of course, this one little pot here, but that to me, this read more grapefruit than lemon with the little musk behind. It wasn't too musky. It wasn't too, you know, um, I don't want to say dirty, but you know, musky, but it wasn't, it was just a little bit on the end to kind of warm it all up, but I really enjoyed that one. So I can't wait to get those bars. They should be coming this week. Okay, here's a favorite of mine. It's in my club, Winterberry Apple Tea. Love it, love it, love it. It's definitely like a tart berry, obviously Winterberry, 
but it's got a teensy bit of spice note in it, just a little bit, and the tea. I love this so much. And this throws, again, just like Bonfire Beach, probably nine plus out of 10, really good. Lux Vanilla, I did uh, melt one of these. I don't have too many left, but my uh, club order will be coming, I think, tomorrow, and I have another one in there, so I knew I could melt this one. Um, and this is just divine. I love this. Um, it's vanilla, but it's got a very like sultry, a little bit perfumey, a little bit sultry, vanilla, warm. I love this in my bedroom. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, apricot vanilla. I decided to give this one another shot. Uh, I had some last year, maybe the year before. I don't know when. It was very light. And I, although I do like the scent of ap apricot vanilla, it's still very light. First, I had it in my guest bedroom and then I moved it and I put it in my bathroom. So one cube in a mini warmer will do a small bathroom. Um, and I, I do enjoy it. I just wish it was stronger. Pink cotton. This is a favorite of Susan Fitzpatrick's. And so based on her recommendation, I decided to order it. I need to stop doing this. Um, and on cold, the wax I felt like there was some banana rama in there. I don't know why I was picking up banana, but I did. I did not get that on warm, thankfully. Um, and it was nice. I enjoyed it. It was just kind of like a, a feminine sheet or feminine laundry kind of thing, but it was light. So I wish this was stronger because I did enjoy that one. White tea and cactus uh, is not really a favorite of mine. It's okay, but I melted this one in in my bathroom one cube at a time in the mini warmer it was okay i don't love it i don't know what it is that i don't love about it so for me i'm not a lover of white teen cactus i would not repurchase that and i have another apricot vanilla all right so uh the rest i believe oh no here's another scentsy what is this oh spring has sprung that was um march's scent of the month just kind of fresh clean bright that was nice and yeah okay the rest is walmart wax i'm really trying really hard to get through my wall walmart oh my gosh walmart wax it is very old so i want to use up all my walmart wax and i'm not purchasing anymore until it's all gone the very last bar even my tea time yes even my tea time so um here we go Da, da, da. Okay, sorry. Okay, so this is Vanilla Cookie Crunch. And I actually mixed this in with um, Sweet Pea, one to one. And I also have going upstairs Plumeria something. And I used one cube of that with one, one of those as well. And that turned out like a nice combination. Uh, I used up two Himalayan pink salt. This, they're both sensationals. This is the Walmart one. This is the HEB grocery store one, but they're exactly the same. They're the same. Yep. Very, um, what does it say? Invigorating blend of eucalyptus and jasmine. And when I first started, it is, I guess, a little bit of eucalyptus, but I also get like rock salt or sea salt or something like that. This is super fresh. I love this in the bathrooms. It is so nice. Uh, also, I used up two of Mystic and um, two of those upstairs. This was really nice. I also melted this in my bedroom. Um, Dreams of orchids and berries. And to me, this was another like kind of sultry bedroom scent. Not warm or not powdery like maybe Lux Vanilla or Satin Sheets, but there's like a musky berry note in here and I really liked that in the bedroom. Uh, I finished up a vanilla bean, and you can see that's kind of yellow, so I did finish that one as well. I was doing the same thing, mixing it with the florals. I used up a Country Living. Um, this is Fresh Air and Orchard Apples. This was really good. I just get f fresh green apples, like if you're outside in the air picking the apples, it is so good. And the throw on this one is like... 8 out of 10. Really, really strong. The throw on these guys was kind of, not this one, Mystic. Mystic was kind of light. I would say like, eh, 6-ish, 7-ish for the Mystic Air. Uh, Miss, just Mystic, sorry. Rainy Day. This is a repurchase several times over. Pure Water Lily and the Warmth of White Musk. 
This also is a nice bedroom set. It is watery. You definitely get a watery note. Slightly perfumey, I guess from the, the white musk, slightly perfumey, but it was very nice in the bathroom. The throw was great and happy home. The in-laws are coming. I don't know what that means, but as far as the scent goes, I can't smell anything. What was this? You know what? I can't even remember what it was. Like that's how... It's not spicy. It's kind of like warm linen, like out of a dryer or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, that those are my empties for the last couple of weeks or so. I can't remember what last time I did it. Um, but anyway, so I did get through a lot. I'm pretty happy about that. And I will get a new melting basket going here in the next couple of days and I'll post that. Tomorrow is Scentsy Saturday. Don't forget to check out the clearance section on the Scentsy website. Oh my gosh, it was the bomb. Still lots left. Way better than the last restock in the clearance. Um, Pre-order for the child, the Star Wars child thing. I don't know. I don't do Star Wars. That The pre-order is available on my website. When you go to my website, it's on the very front page. You pay $5 now. And when the child comes in June, that's when you pay the balance of the order then. So all you need is $5 to pre-order that. Um, let's see what else is up there. Uh, the squeeze the day cleaner pack with the bathroom cleaner, the, di the bathroom cleaner, the dish soap and the counter cleaner. That's still available. I ordered that. I think mine will be here in the next couple of days. And there's two, there's another Scentsy buddy coming from Mulan on the 16th. And also there's an Easter pack up and the jelly bean pack is coming back this week as well. So lots happening at Scentsy. Um, also, if you are interested in being a consultant, March is the time to join because you have the potential of earning a three hundred dollar uh, package of products for free. So definitely, if you're interested in being a Sensi consultant, let me know. And I think that's all I have to say for tonight. I hope everybody has a great weekend. I will see you soon. Bye.